Bengali. He has a point. Life and death. Now listen, there are people obviously out there who just do the right thing. They don't have to be necessarily your fans or supporters. And this is what this video talks about because the information that was received was not from a fan or a supporter of anyone. It was just someone doing the right thing. I know several of you have seen this posting on the community page of AAS channel. I wanted to talk to you about this, but before I do that, something else is top priority to give you an update on. On one of these live streams, someone made a very specific threat of violence. Very specific very undeniable and law enforcement was contacted and they did take action. I'm not going to identify the parties involved. Please do not guess. I'm not going to disclose that. I am just letting people out there know you cannot make threats of violence. And I am not talking about saying you're going to defend yourself. If someone threatens you and you respond and say, you know what, if you come to my house, I have a right to defend myself. That's not what I'm talking about. This was a very specific threat. I don't know how and why people think this is something they are able to do without some sort of negative consequence. I don't know if this is what people do off YouTube. I can't answer that. Are you aware people? John Fitzgerald Johnson, AKA Grandmaster J is facing potentially 20 years in prison for this very reason. Very specific threats on YouTube were captured by law enforcement. If you folks do not believe me, take a look at this recent filing by the federal prosecutors. They want to introduce prior bad acts. And I think they're trying to go back to 2003, which I think is ridiculous. The fact that they're trying to do that is the symbolism or the significance of this issue. They go way back. Have a clue, people. Be warned. Be on the lookout. If they have you in their sights, they have you in their sights. They don't even need to do that because of his YouTube threats. Look here on the page. They got these timestamps down. If you don't think people are listening to what you're saying and what you're doing and capturing it, you have another thing coming. If you're out there having a great time, even acting the fool, the effery, you can do all that. But threatening people's lives is not legal. And that should never be part of social media. And when it gets the attention of law enforcement, look what happens. I'm going to post something else up there because it was some part where he mentioned, just keep looking at the screen. Maybe I'll rock the screen out with these shots. Someone had called, had stated, I, I don't know if this person was at a rally and heard him saying something. And the person says, oh my gosh, we need to call the police. And he said, she needs her ass whooped. He said that in a video. How can somebody come on YouTube and make these videos and think their statements aren't going to be captured. That is mind boggling. But that situation here that somebody made a threat, it was very specific. And if you don't want to be wrapped up, the people who have channels and being a witness and people coming to talk to you, you need to be careful about who you're leading on your panels. You know who these people are. You know their histories. You know what they're capable of saying or doing. It's up to you 
to decide. Now there is one content creator I who sent this clip and the person was inquiring. I could tell the person was getting nervous and this is not the same channel that this happened on. I don't want to say the specific question that was posed to a person who was saying certain things and I'm not even saying it was the same person, but that content creator was on the right track. The questions that this person was asking this individual, if it means anything to you, it's up to you to take control of what happens on your channel because you are complicit if you allow the stuff to happen and you don't shut it down. And as far as, let me see your handcuffs. I've made a comment. I have got to bring this up. Complaining that I use clips from content creators that I say I don't go to. It's none of your damn business what content I use. But if you must know, since I came to YouTube, people have always sent me material. The other day there were three live streams going and they all were talking about AAS and Rev G. I'm really going to be able to sit there and capture everything that is being said. Watch your step out there, people, if you don't want to get wrapped up in a criminal case, because if it's happening on your channel, they're going to come and they're going to talk to you about it. Now you saw this posting. I believe I put it up on Saturday or Friday. Yes, there were plans to bring forth some very interesting information, which I am positive. You all will be riveted when you hear it. However, there were some out of town guests that stayed longer than expected. So that is going to have to be rescheduled. Hopefully we can get that going for next Saturday. Well, I should say this coming Saturday. Hang tight, keep checking the community page and the AAS page. And again, if you don't want to get wrapped up in any sort of criminal inquiry, make sure you set the boundaries on your channel and don't allow that behavior on your channel. And I am making it very clear again, this is, has, this has nothing to do with anyone stating a plan of self-defense, AKA, if you come to my house, I will defend myself along those lines. It has nothing to do with that. This was an out and out direct threat that was very specific. People watch your step and above all else. Heed the warning, buyer beware.